So you really want to adopt a dog, but you're not sure if you want to adopt a puppy or an adult dog. It almost seems like you can't go wrong either way. But really, there's a big difference between the two. You really have to make the right decision for yourself. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between adopting a puppy versus adopting an adult dog. So let's dive into that. You can't not love a puppy. They're basically the best thing in the world. However, there are some reasons why you might not want to adopt a puppy. So let's talk about why adopting a puppy might not be right for you. Let me just start by saying that puppies take a lot of time. If you don't have a free schedule or if you have a very busy job, adopting a puppy might not be right for you. Just consider the fact that if you have a puppy, you have to be with them almost every single day, the entire day, because there's a lot to watch and there's a lot to take care of. So if you don't have that free time, adopting a puppy might not be right. Consider the fact that the puppy that you're adopting may not be housebroken, aka potty trained. And if they're not housebroken, that might be something that you have to do, which does take a lot of time and effort. And the other thing with potty training is, it's not always easy, it doesn't come natural for everyone, you have to learn how to do it. And your puppy might take quite a bit of time to actually learn that. And in the meantime, if it is not housebroken, they may be peeing and pooping in your house, which could get annoying. The other thing that takes a lot of time with a puppy is that you have to be extremely observant of them. If you're not watching them all the time, they can get into things really quickly. Puppies like to eat everything. If you're not watching them and they start nibbling on things and items that they shouldn't be, well, they could quickly eat something that is dangerous to them or toxic and you could end up having a really bad situation on your hands. I've seen puppies eat things like pens or socks or other food items that they really shouldn't be eating. And it's certainly not the same thing by any means, but it's similar to having a human child. You have to watch them at every move. You have to be super observant because at any moment they could be doing something that they shouldn't be. Also realize that a puppy doesn't understand what a routine or a schedule is as opposed to an adult dog. An adult dog might know when you're waking up, when they need to go outside to go pee, when you're going to work. A puppy might not understand this and it's something that you're going to have to teach them along the way. Puppies also don't realize that they need to be able to hold their bladder and their bladder is much smaller than what an adult dog is. So if you're not able to take them out frequently, they are going to end up peeing in your house. So this is where getting routine down is also important with housebreaking. Patience is key when owning a puppy. You have to realize that they are still learning about the world and they're learning about new things like objects, smells, where food comes from, types of food. There's all different things that they're still learning about and you have to teach them as you go. It's really easy to get upset at your puppy whenever they're peeing or pooping in your house or just chewing on all kinds of different things that you don't want them to chew on. But if you have the patience, then you're gonna be able to successfully own a puppy. If you're not a patient person, a puppy might not be the best thing for you. Along with what I said about chewing, puppies love to chew on everything. And there's a good reason for that. This is a natural behavior that they have at this point in their life because they're teething and they're growing in new teeth. It's important for their dental health, but you have to be prepared for this. You have to know how to manage it because otherwise it will frustrate you. So teething is something you have to consider with adopting a puppy. It might turn you off. I will just say, for better or for worse, puppies are destructive. Another thing that people don't stop to consider when adopting a puppy is, you really don't know what their personality or behavior is gonna be like. Even if you adopt a puppy at eight weeks, 16 weeks, you're really not sure what their personality or behavior is gonna be like down the road. So time and time again, I see people adopt a puppy at eight weeks, thinking that they're gonna turn out to be great and they can shape them, but really a year later, they might turn out to be a completely different dog. Personality and behavior is just so important in dog ownership. And when you're adopting a puppy, there's really no guarantees on this. In terms of finances, a puppy can be more expensive than an adult dog. Sometimes puppies need more vet visits. They might need several rounds of vaccines. They might need a microchip. They might need spayed or neutered. All of those things can add up. And on top of that, some puppies might require more medical attention. It's not uncommon for puppies to have things like diarrhea that might require a vet visit. So in terms of your expense, you might be better off adopting an adult dog if you're short on cash. Things like leashes, collars, toys, bowls, sometimes those are more expensive for a puppy because you have to consider as they grow, these things might need to be replaced. 
So items that you have to buy might also be more expensive for a puppy. And you might not know how big your puppy is gonna get when it's full grown. You might get a puppy thinking that's gonna be 40 or 50 pounds, and by the time it's fully grown, it may end up being 60, 70, maybe even 80 pounds, and you might not be prepared for that. Lastly, if you're looking to get a puppy at a shelter, a lot of times the adoption fee for a puppy is a lot higher than what an adult dog might be. Adult dogs are sometimes a little bit less in demand, so trying to adopt an adult dog from a shelter might be a little less costly from that standpoint as well. The adoption fee for a puppy can sometimes be several hundred dollars, so that is something else to consider. Enough talk about why you don't want a puppy. Let's talk about the fun reasons why you do want a puppy. Having a dog from the time it's a puppy is just so much fun. There's something about watching a puppy grow up that's so amazing, and there's so much that you can learn and gain from this experience of raising a puppy. My previous dog I helped raise as a puppy, and to be honest, as a puppy, he was pretty bad. But there is nothing that I regret about getting him at this age. Although I said that because puppies don't really know the world yet, it can be a little bit of a con with owning a puppy. It can also be one of your greatest assets. And that's because puppies are very easy to train at this age. You can kind of mold their behavior as you see fit, and it's a little bit harder to do this with an adult dog. Early in a puppy's life, because they are still learning things, this is a crucial period to teach them. Another thing that's great about puppies is that it's a little bit easier to introduce other animals to them. If you own a cat or a dog, having a new puppy might go a little bit easier with their adjustment period as opposed to owning an adult dog. Sometimes adult dogs don't get along with other certain dogs or they may not get along with other cats. They may have a little bit of an aggression towards cats. They might have a little bit of a high prey drive. So getting an adult dog might not be an option for you if you do have other animals. And this is where owning a puppy might be a little bit better for your situation. A younger puppy might have to learn a little bit about what a cat is, but it might be a little bit safer than having an adult dog try to adjust to a cat that you already have in your home. And that's because a puppy might be a little bit smaller. They might not know what to do with a cat. They might not have that prey drive yet. So adjusting a cat with a puppy is a lot easier than adjusting an adult dog with a cat. Because puppies are just a little bit less dangerous in general, if you have children in the house, they might be able to adjust a little bit better to the children because if you adopt an adult dog, sometimes adult dogs are really not good with children and they may actually be a harm for your child. Now, this is not to say that you should necessarily adopt a puppy if you do have children, because like I said earlier, puppies are a lot of work. And if you're already having a lot of work with your children, a puppy might not be the best thing for you. However, it's like that thing I said with cats where because they don't really know what a child is, they're gonna be able to adjust to a child a little bit better. You're able to kind of shape their understanding of what kids are so that they're not fearful every time they're around a child. I think probably my favorite thing about puppies though is just actually taking so many pictures of them when their puppies growing up and then looking back at it and seeing how much they really changed because there is a lot of change that happens from the time that they are a puppy to the time that they are an adult and being able to look back on those moments is so precious. Moving away from all the reasons why you should get a puppy, although I know that's so much fun to talk about, let's transition over into talking about why you should get an adult dog instead. Number one, let's go back to housebreaking. Like I said before, housebreaking can be a huge frustration for a lot of people. But if you're adopting an adult dog, it's probably already housebroken, which means you don't have to worry about pee or poop, which is great because this is a huge stress relief for a lot of people and it can make owning a dog a little bit more enjoyable. The predictability of adopting a dog is just something that can't be underestimated. If you're given a lot of history and information on this dog's background, you're really gonna be able to understand exactly what this dog is like. At this point, you're gonna to have to know the personality of this dog that you're considering to adopt because when you're adopting an adult dog, knowing their personality is very important to knowing whether or not it's gonna work out in your home. Understanding the personality of an adult dog is important because unlike with a puppy, their personality is unlikely to change the longer that you have them. Whereas with a puppy, they're still learning things like I had said before, and their personality is subject to change as they get bigger. I already touched on this before, but the cost of an adult dog might be a little bit less expensive 
because they may already be spayed or neutered, they may be up to date on their shots, and they may have everything medically they need. And also just buying them items might be a little bit less expensive. However, the one thing that you might end up spending more on is food because an adult dog may end up eating more food as opposed to a puppy where they're gonna be eating a little bit of a smaller volume. And if you're adopting from a shelter, the expense of the adoption fee may end up being a little bit lower for an adult dog. Some shelters won't even charge an adoption fee for some of their older dogs because they're just trying to find them a good home. I see so many people swayed away from adopting an adult dog from a shelter because they initially want a puppy. But once they realize there are so many good dogs in shelters and actually owning an adult dog can be easier, some people do change their mind. I think it's just a great service when somebody does decide to adopt an adult dog from a shelter because it not only gets a dog out of the shelter, but it also reduces the overpopulation of dogs in this country. I think it's just a great thing in general for people to want to do, but it's not right for everyone. It's the reason I'm making this video, because there is no one right way for every person. So you have to decide whether adopting an adult dog is right for you or adopting a puppy might be right. There are some reasons why you might not want to adopt an adult dog though, so let's talk about those reasons as well so we cover everything. It can sometimes be a little bit harder to get an adult dog to bond with you. If you're considering adopting a dog from a shelter, you have to realize that you might not know exactly what their history is. You might not know what they've been through in the past. They may have had several owners. They may have been abused at some point. They may have just never had really any routine. So you have to be understanding of that fact. And so the adjustment period in your home after adopting an adult dog might be a little bit harder than with a puppy. So that's something also to consider. Some dogs are really scared or afraid at first. So it may take even several weeks or months for them to feel comfortable around you. So if you're considering adopting this dog from a shelter, you have to realize that there is an adjustment period after you bring them home and it may take quite a while for them to trust you. And the other thing is, if you're adopting this dog from a shelter, you have to realize the first dog that you adopt might not be a great fit. You may end up having to return it just because it didn't work out and you might have to try another dog. Shelters try their best to fit the right dog with the right adopter, but it doesn't work out in every single case. Adult dogs can be a little bit harder to train because sometimes they already have habits that they have formed and you have to learn how to break those habits. You may have to hire a trainer if they have some behavioral issues if you're adopting a dog from a shelter or an adult dog. So that is another thing to consider. Between adopting an adult dog and a puppy, there is one more point that I wanna make and you might think that this is more pertaining to an adult dog, but really this is a neutral point between both of them. When getting a puppy, you might expect for it to live a little bit longer than an adult dog. However, there are no guarantees on health or longevity for any age of dog you may get. I've seen some puppies end up not surviving as long as what their owner might think because they end up with some serious medical issue. And on the opposite side, I've seen some older dogs that you would think wouldn't live very long, living for what seems like forever. So really longevity shouldn't be a factor in determining whether or not you want to adopt a puppy versus an adult. I support adopting both puppies and adults as long as it's the right decision for you. I just wanna make sure that you guys are making an informed decision. So hopefully this video helped in some way for you to understand what the right age of dog would be for you to adopt. And I wanna know if you guys have adopted a dog before, have you adopted one that was a puppy or have you adopted an adult? Let me know down in the comments. And if you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like. If you wanna see any more information on both dogs or cats, be sure to check out my channel for more. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.